going on guys, it's Jay with Next Level Basketball. We're gonna break down the triple threat in the video series right now. We want to emphasize one count moves. What I mean by that is, catch the ball, you're looking to shoot, you're looking to let it go, or you're looking to make a move and go straight to the basket in one second. We got two and three second count moves. We could get to that eventually, but ideally, within the flow of an offense, a smart, efficient basketball player is not holding on to the basketball very long. And I know we see sometimes, at a high level, you know, some of the most skilled guys in the world, sometimes they'll catch the basketball and go to work. And that, even for them, is not necessarily great offense. So let's work on flow, let's work on catching and going, and check out these next couple moves in our Triple Threat One Count Series. All right guys, today we got working with us is Monty Binyam, three-year letterman from Quinnipiac University Division I in the MAC Conference. And the first move we want to go over is a catch and jab. Again, it's a one count move, so on the hop, he's going to make his jab. So let's, let's see Monty do a few stationary, and, uh, and he's going to go from there. On a ball reversal, I get the ball swung to me, I catch, I reverse, boom. Do it again, take one dribble after it, reverse, boom. One point of emphasis, we, we have to point this out for the reason why usually this works attack and middle is because of the closeout. So if he's getting the ball whipped to him on a ball reversal, usually closeouts want to force somebody's sideline. It's a smart thing to do. And this is when you simply attack my high foot. And that's when he can catch me on the closeout. We showed you in part one of this series, catch and jab, going straight to the basket. We had Monty demonstrate how to beat somebody in a one count. Next move, we're gonna stick with the one count, stick with attacking on the catch, and we're gonna do a catch and sweep in part two here. So he's gonna catch the ball, he's gonna rip through real low, he's gonna attack the basket, and he's gonna score, and he's gonna do it this time, attacking in the momentum of the basketball if he has space. So that's what we're gonna look at next. So here we go with a catch and sweep. He's gonna catch it and rip through as low as he can, go straight to the basket. Sweep it like you're sweeping the floor with a broom. Good work. Man, has been cooking people in the gym. This has been a long time coming. Let's go. Bang. Go rip, boy. All right, gentlemen and ladies, part three of this series now. One count moves, going to the basket or pulling up, attacking closeouts. We have the shimmy move. Shoulder shake move where he jabs, he fakes one way and comes back the other way. This is my favorite move in the triple threat. It's called the shimmy. Check it out. Our third move is the shimmy right now. And I just want to emphasize what he's doing. Right now he's doing it when the ball's swinging to the left and this is how it's gonna look. Okay, so the, the emphasis that we want to show is really sell that shoulder shake, really sell it. So he's jabbing with the left, he's faking his shoulder right and he's going back left, do it again. Okay, now what we want you guys to keep in mind is that when you do this jab and sell the shoulder, you can't move this right foot before the ball goes down. So it should be cast jab. You gotta put the ball down to avoid the travel. Let's see it in action. Go. Alright. Here go. Alright. Oh, 